Today, we're going to automatically assign a user in JIRA based on their workload. <clears throat> and we're going to do that using PowerScripts from C Prime. So what, do I what I have here is a group I created called Auto Assign Users. And I've added three users to that group. I have run a couple queries on folks in that group so I know exactly um, which user, which of the three we should get. So my friend Johnson here doesn't have any issues assigned to him, uh, which I've just seen. So I know that when I create an issue to test this script, it should go to Jones. So what I have over here are a couple things. I have a workflow post function that I've created called assign to group user based on load. And what this does is it sets the assignee but it is calling another script and passing a parameter in order to get the value. And I did that because I think this could be something that might be reused in other places in other ways. So if I come over to functions and get user with least issues, this is what is really doing the work. And basically I'm taking that argument that we saw of the group name. I am getting all the users in the groups in this statement here. I'm looping through each user individually. And then I'm using some jQuil, my own um, little jQuil script here that I was using here. And I'm specifying the project and I'm specifying the category and the assignee is dynamically changed according to the individual user and then with this little bit of code here I'm basically finding the user with the least amount of issues assigned to them and as a result of this function running I return the username and that again is done Uh, I'll put my, my script in the wrong place. I need to move it one second. Okay, that's done here. Assigned a group user based on load. So there's my parameter, auto assign users. This is the path to my script. So I'm just saying assignee equals call the function, give me the user. So this is all well and good, but we need to add it to our workflow. Uh, let me just hop over to our project. Taking the long way around. And we need a workflow to pick on. We'll pick on IT help. So I'm going to find the open transition or create issue transition right here. I'm going to go to post functions. I'm going to add a new post function. I'm looking for sill post function because that's what the power scripts post function is. I'm going to use an existing script because I've already created it. I've already shown it to you. It's in the workflow post functions and it is called assign to group based on user load. I'm 
I'm going to move it down because sometimes you need to fire, all, you need to perform all these other steps for the issue to be created properly and have the right properties. And only then do you run your script. So I'd just like to move it all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to say no because we like to live life on the edge. So now, in theory, I come over here and I create a new issue and it's got to be IT help otherwise it won't work because that's the workflow um, we used and I'm not going to set an assignee and we're looking for a username of Jay Wang. I know uh, he does not have any issues and the other two do so if I hit create Hop over to the issue. There it is, Johnson. So there you go. That is how you automatically assign issues based on workflow using PowerScripts from C Prime. Thanks for watching.